Follow up tonight, we are hearing from multiple victims of a deadly weekend crash that sent an SUV tumbling over the intersection of Grand and Forest Park Parkway. Three teenagers and one 20 year old were all killed and there has been no word of any arrest. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal reports on the pain those families are feeling. Oh God. <laughs> The mother of Brianna Detman Johnson grieving the loss of her strong, independent 18 year old daughter who attended Kip High School. A very bright young girl, um, joyful, um, believed in God. She says the two shared a lot, including their prayers. I love my daughter and I am going to miss her. Her attorney says Brianna's family feels if that intersection of Forest Park Parkway and Grand was not designed the way it was, and the four victims who were killed might still be alive. And she was a young lady that had a real future in front of her, and her life should not have been cut down in this particular fashion. 137 Sunday morning changed my whole life. The mother of 20 year old Corn Trail McKinley is mourning her son's loss. Corn Trail's brother, Courtney, was driving the SUV when a car slammed into them, and the SUV fell from Grand to Forest Park Parkway. In the corner, in the glance of my eye, I seen the car. By the time I could even look over, I was hit. And after that, I just seen black. Felt everything. Everything, I, I felt it. I felt like when we was in the air, except when we fell. But I didn't know that I fell. I just thought, like, I was just spinning or, you know, just getting tossed around. Two 19-year-olds, Anthony Robinson and Richard Boyd, were also killed. There were four survivors. The driver of the car, police say, was responsible for the crash, left the scene. I just want them to do the best they can to catch, <clears throat> watch my mouth. The guy um, that killed my baby and the rest of those kids that was involved. Coming up on Fox 2 News at 10, you will hear from two more survivors of the crash that occurred here, why some families of the victims believe more could have been done to help them. Reporting from Midtown, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.